Hello Reading Warriors, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my June TBR slash my TBR for the readathon that I will be doing for the month of June, which is the Percy Jackson Camp Half Blood Greek Olympics readathon. It's I think it's be called the Olympic Readathon based off of the Olympics of Greek mythology that they do at Camp Half Blood in the Percy Jackson series. I have read the series actually. I've read everything Greek mythology, Percy Jackson. I read, I think, all of the Roman mythology, but I don't remember any of it because I did not like it and I kept getting it confused and it was, there was just so much because it was Roman and Greek all kind of tied into, so I didn't, I finished it, but I don't remember it. And I did read a little bit of his Egyptian mythology, but I have not read any of his recent works, especially with Norse mythology. But I am looking forward to the new show coming up on Disney Plus because it, it is said to be much better than the movie and Rick Riordan is actually like has more say and input on it. So I am really excited about that. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about my TBR for this readathon in the month of June. This is started by Ishii and there are three other hosts along with her, but I will link her introductory video down below. So if you want to participate in it as well and see all the hosts and all the challenges and everything. I will leave that down below so you can go ahead and do that, but now I'm going to talk about what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing that you get to do when you participate in this readathon is you choose a team, and by choosing a team you're choosing a god or goddess, probably whoever is your parent. Um, you can say, oh I'm going to do go on this person's team and choose to do that, or if you just don't know, you can take the quiz. She has a link in her video. Um, to the website, to Rick Riordan's website, where you can take the quiz and then that can help you decide which god or goddess you want to represent during the month of June for the readathon. When doing this, I was like, hmm, you know, I kind of want to do Aphrodite because I feel like Aphrodite is a goddess that kind of gets looked over or written off as like kind of surface level, you know, like it's all oh, romance and love, but there's a little more to her. But when I took the quiz, that's not who I got. I actually got Apollo. And I was like, okay, I don't know how I feel about this, because at first I was like, I don't like Apollo, like how he was written in the Percy Jacksons, I just didn't like his character. But then reading his description and like what he's the god of, you know, like music and poetry and arts and healing and prophecy and like all that, I was like, yeah, I can hop on board. So I got Apollo on my quiz and I am going to follow through and be on Team Apollo. Woohoo! Yay, Team Apollo. If you guys are participating in this readathon, please comment down below letting me know what god or goddess you are representing in the games. And if you're Team Apollo, would would unite, let's do this. The other catch that I have about the month of June is that it is my fantasy month for my own genre per month thing that I'm doing. So all of the books that I'm reading are geared toward fantasy. Not all of them are, but most of them are. And I'm, I was really trying to stick with that. So I'm just going to add, sprinkle that, a little bit of knowledge, information, extraness into here. So now with that, I'm going to get into the challenges. No matter what team you pick, you will have five prompts that you have to complete, and each prompt is different per god or goddess. So I will start with my five prompts, and then afterwards you can do these bonus challenges. So the first challenge is music to my ears, listen to an audiobook. And so for that, I am doing The Winner's Curse by Marie Roots. Gosky? Roots Gosky. I'm sorry, I can't say name. I, as you can see, I do own the physical copy of The Winner's Curse, but I am going to be listening to the audiobook of it just to kind of help me get through it. And, you know, it's the prompt, so I'm doing that. Plus it has deckled edges. My copy has deckled edges, and I do not like reading books with deckled edges. <sighs> I know. But, um, so I will be listening to this as my audiobook for the first prompt. The second one is a prompt about um, healing and kind of emotions and so the prompt is read a book that you think will make you happy so for this one so for this prompt I'm going to read the invisible library by Genevieve Cogman and I'm really excited about this one I think this one will make me happy because it's about books and a library and most books or stories that happen to be like about books or about libraries or about like the literary world tend to make me very happy like I loved like Inkheart um, is one. So books like Inkheart where it's about someone wanting to read or someone selling books or like a book that I started and I've kind of put on pause um, is The Little Bookshop 
in Paris, which is another one. It's about this man who has this bookshop on a boat and, you know, he gives out books or he sells books to people based on what they need, not what they want. So stories like those. So I think this will make me very happy because it's about a spy who works for a library. And I mean, seriously, is there anything cooler? Like if I could do that, I would. Like seriously. So that's why this is going to be for my second prompt of a book that makes me happy because I think it will. Moving on to the third prompt for Apollo, it is going off of Apollo's ability for uh, prophecy and kind of future telling, and that is read a book you think will be a five-star review. So the thing about this is that I am very picky with giving out five-star reviews, and I do have a couple five-star books on my shelf, but I only know they are because I read them, and that obviously goes against the whole point of this prompt. Um, so what I decided to do is I, I took the book out of this entire TBR that I think will have the highest rating. I don't know if it'll necessarily be five stars, but I hope, I think it'll be at least four stars for sure. I'm hoping, I think it will be one of the highest ones, and that is The Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hauk. Um, I chose this one. And yeah, I still have a sticker on it because I'm like super afraid of taking off stickers that it's like going to do something for the cover, even though it like never does because, because the cover is always so much thicker and not made of paper like the sticker is, but I just haven't taken it off. But yeah, so I've had this book on my shelf for a very long time and it's always interested me. I'm always like, oh, I'm going to read this next. I'm going to read this next. At one point, my mom borrowed it from me because she wanted to like sit down and read a book instead of just constantly listening to audiobooks. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll give you this book. And then she took it and she had it for a few months and never read it. So I finally was like, okay, mom, I've given up with my patience with you. I'm taking my book back so that I can read it. And then here I am like two years later and I still haven't read it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the tiger's curse. I, I think it deals with mythology. Yeah. So this has, this deals with breaking a 300 year old Indian curse, which I'm super excited about because uh, Indian culture and mythology is not one that I'm super familiar with and so I'm really excited to get into that and I know that this um, is the start of a series so we'll see if I read this and I like it then I'll buy the rest of the series and finish it but if not I tried the fourth prompt is read a book that starts with a and so for this I scoured my shelves and I do not have a lot of books that start with a or at least books that start with A that I haven't already read. Um, so the three books that I have that starts with A that I haven't already read is Anna Karenina. And I picked that thing up and I was like, I don't know. I, if I'm going to read that book, it's going to be for an audiobook. So I went to get the audiobook and it said 40 hours. And I was like, that just doesn't seem like the kind of book you want to read for a readathon. And I do know that later in the year I will have a classics focused month to catch up on some of the classics that I own but do not or but have not read. And that also is why I didn't choose the second book on my shelf that starts with an A and it's A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Again, it's a classic. Again, it's kind of long. Like it's not too bad, but like the print is small and the chapters are all like squished together. I just it's not one for a readathon, and I know I'm going to try and read it later in the year anyway. So what I decided to actually read was Angel Mage by Garth Nix, and I do not have this physically, so I am going to listen to it as an audiobook. I've chosen to read this because I've read a lot of other Garth Nix's books in this world. I've read the Abhorsen trilogy, and I have some of the other books in this world, like Golden Hand and... Cladiel and I have read that and so I just want to I want to finish reading the universe you know it's like if an author publishes a duology or a trilogy in a world and then they publish extra books well it's you haven't read everything in the world you don't fully know everything yet because there is more out there to learn so I decided that I am going to read Angel Mage to continue exploring that world because I do love it a lot. I absolutely love the Abhorsen trilogy. And the funny thing is, actually, is that my fiancé is currently reading the trilogy, like he's partway through Lidiel, and I got into this trilogy because of my brother. So now when my brother comes over, it's, 
he's talking to my fiance about where they are in the trilogy and then I'm sitting there like oh my word I love this and it's literally the only time I can get like a book centered conversation out of either of them so it's just it's it's a great trilogy you know for non-readers like my brother and my fiance it's great so I'm gonna be continuing with that world and then the last prompt for Apollo is to read a book honoring Artemis and this is because Artemis is the twin sister of Apollo and so obviously we gotta we gotta um honor Auntie Artemis so to do that I have chosen their prompt of read a book while the moon is up or you know like during nighttime and I did this too with my OWLs I had to read a book during nighttime and that's honestly what I do a lot or most of my reading anyway so it's really not a problem it's just adding on an extra book so the book that I've chosen for this prompt is Kill the Queen by Jennifer Estep I bought this this past school year and I don't know much about it I just know that it's it's like a medieval but there's magic and obviously Kill the Queen it's an assassin so this just really caught my eye. Again, it's fantasy. It's the start of another series. Like seriously, there are not very many like standalone fantasy books. They're just art. Um, but I bought the first one in this series and I'm gonna give it a try. I, yeah, it's a Crown of Shards novel is what it's labeled as. But it's a little more, I think, of an adult fantasy, which I'm really intrigued because I don't, I haven't read a lot of adult books, let alone like adult fantasy, adult romance, adult contemporary, whatever, just because for so long I was reading YA. Um, so I bought this to try and kind of branch out of known books. And now I'm going to finally read it. And I am really excited. I'm really intrigued. So, so this is going to be the one that I read during night time while the moon is up to honor Auntie Artemis. That concludes the five challenges that I have to do for my cabin for the Olympic Games. Now there are certain bonus challenges that you can do and each cabin is assigned like you can do this or this or this but you can't just choose whichever one you want to do. Um, for example, one of the ones I've seen other cabins need to do is called Sword and Shield, but I don't, I'm not doing that one. I don't need to do that one. That's not one. Um, I have to do other ones, so I don't quite get to choose those, but <laughs> it's interesting because Apollo has four <laughs> of those extra activities, and the thing is that I have to finish reading these five books before I can move on to the extra activities. So the, it does have to be in a specific order, so I can't just do whichever one I want first, which is totally fine. I am really excited to read those five anyway. But for the other four challenges, I have four more books because you cannot double up for this readathon. So I am going to attempt to read nine books this month while also taking two classes, three classes technically, but one's a lab, so like class um which ends at the end of june so there will be exams then so i'm gonna attempt to read nine books so the first of the extra challenges that i can partake in is archery makes sense apollo um and the prompt for that is to read a book that's under 200 pages and looking at my shelf i only have two books that are under 200 pages and i've read both of them within the past like i've read both of them within the past season like I read them both in spring so they were recent reads so I'm not rereading either of those so what I did is I bought a book <laughs> I bought the tea dragon society and I got this one because I've heard a lot of hype about it and it's 72 pages long and it seems adorable and it would definitely be a book that I would want to keep for like my future kids so I ordered that that'll be coming in the mail like next week so I'm really excited about that one. The second one is Capture the Flag, and Capture the Flag's prompt is to read the most anticipated book on your shelf. Um, this one, again, I do not have the physical copy of it, but I did buy it, and so it's going to be delivered to my house literally by Wednesday, June 3. So this video hopefully will be up before then. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get this up before June, 
but just complicated situation and I don't have my laptop with me and yeah it's a whole thing so my point is this book is going to be The Toll by Neil Schusterman and this is the third book in the Ark of Scythes trilogy and I recently like last month this past month May I finished the second book in the trilogy Thunderhead and I absolutely loved it I adored it so I bought the toll and that'll be coming on Wednesday and I'm super excited and it is one of my most anticipated books and so I'm really excited and eager to add it on my shelf with the rest of my collection. It's not quite fantasy, it's still more sci-fi which is what I read for the month of May but I'm just gonna let that slide because I just want to read it. So bad. So that's that. The next challenge is the climbing wall, and that is to read the next book in a series. Um, so by that interpretation, I'm saying not the first book in a series, but the next book in the series, because you're climbing, you're going further. This one, again, I do not have the physical book for, but I bought it, and it'll be coming in the mail within the next week or so, and that is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I read um, The Cruel Prince right around when the Wicked King came out and then I so I bought those two and I read them both and I love them and then Queen of Nothing came out and I was like I'm gonna buy it like immediately and then I looked at the price of it and I was like I'm gonna buy it when it comes out on paperback because my bookstore only had it for hardcover because it was brand spanking new so I was like okay I'm gonna wait for them to get on paperback then I'm gonna buy it and then I never did for some reason I don't know why and I was like oh my word this is ridiculous I love this trilogy I love the characters I love the world building so I finally hopped on and I bought the queen of nothing and it's coming in the mail and so that's what I'm gonna use for the climbing wall and I think it's great because not only the next book in the series but it's the last book in the trilogy and I feel like for a climbing wall reading the last book is like getting to the end so hopefully like I win because it's the last but I mean, I suck at climbing walls, <laughs> so I, I'm not really banking on that metaphor too strongly, but that is what I've, I've chosen the Queen of Nothing for the climbing wall to finish the trilogy and to finish the climbing wall. And then the last challenge, the fourth extra challenge that I can do and the last challenge I have for the entire month of June is Pegasus. So it's like riding Pegasuses. Pegasus? Pegasi? Writing a Pegasus and for this prompt it's to read a book published within the last five years. So I turned around on my shelf, looked at all my fantasy books and was like okay which one has been published in 2015 all the way until 2020. And let me tell you I do not have a lot of books on my shelves that are fantasy that have been published in the last five years because they're all older. Like seriously so many books on these shelves it's like I bought like forever ago and then just never read them and just kept going to the library and reading books from the library but I did find one and that's Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows and so this is the start of the Fallen Isles trilogy I actually so this is the uncorrected proof version because I actually got this from my friend whose mom is an editor and she gave it to me to read it and kind of like give her thoughts, give her feedback, but also to read it and enjoy it because she has way too many books, which I never thought was possible. Like even going to her house and seeing stacks of books everywhere, I still don't think she has too many books. But I was very thankful that she gave it to me and so it is the start of a trilogy and it's interesting because it's about this girl who is supposed to be magical and perfect but then she discovers this big secret and she gets like thrown in jail and she's like I would die before I give up the secret and I'm sitting here like what the heck is the secret I want to know so I'm going to finally read this book it was published in 2017 so it was published three years ago and that is what I'm going to use to complete Pegasus it is like all of these books I feel like are not quite small but I mean it's not like it's too big you know so this is going to be hopefully the last book that I read in the month of June to finish the last of the extra challenges after I finish the first five challenges. And this cover, I don't know, I like this cover, 
but I don't generally like this kind of cover with like real people on it you know like I prefer more like drawn or designed but like this is like an actress dressed up for it normally I don't go for those but I don't know I like it I do but in my head I'm gonna picture this exact person as a character and that's why I don't like them so that is the end of my June TBR. Those are all nine books that I'm going to try and read slash listen to but also like read during the month of June for the Olympic Games readathon hosted by Ishii. Again, I'll have all that information in the link below so that you can go and check it out for yourself and you can take the quiz, find out what team you want to be on, join the team, and create your own TBR and start reading. Um, yeah, and if you guys do decide to do that, please comment down below and let me know um, what team you're on, what your TBRs look like. I hadn't heard of this readathon before until like literally a few days ago and I was like, oh my word, that's so much fun and I love Percy Jackson, so yes, I have to do it. And it's encouraging me to read a lot more during the month of June than I was planning to read during the month of June. So I'm really excited and happy that it's doing that for me. So yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you know when I post. I am posting at least once a month um, with reviews of different genres overall. Um, as I'm exploring genres, different genres throughout the year in an attempt to expand my reading tastes. But um, over the summer, I will also be posting extra videos that I have planned and I'm really excited for that. So you, if you don't want to miss that, then seriously, subscribe, hit the bell. It's like two, three clicks. Go ahead and do it. So, and with that, I wish you guys to stay safe, stay healthy and happy reading.